How did Francisco Mosquera go from this to this? Francisco Mosquera against this guy, an Olympic champion and world record holder in just one week. And how was Mosquera able to almost perfectly predict what he would need to become a world champion? By the way, we are now days away from crossing 100,000 subs on this channel. It would mean the world to me if you'd consider subscribing. Thanks. It all began on the first day of filming at the World Weightlifting Championships 2022 in Bogota, Colombia, and the home team had just turned up to train. Honestly, with so many incredible weightlifters in Team Colombia, I wasn't totally sure who to film. But when I saw Mosquera doing some more bizarre looking warm ups, the scapular retraction, bent over rows, and other variations, as well as the fact that he looked more jacked than I'd ever seen him, which always goes down well on social media, I figured I'd keep an eye on him while also filming several other soon to be world champions in the area. It became very clear to me that not only was Mosquera physically in the shape of his life, but also he was absolutely dialed in. He was laser focused, he was ready to fight, ready for war in his home country. A 30 second recap on Mosquera for you. He's a certified weightlifting legend, having first competed at a world championships back in 2014 as a 62 kilo lifter, meddling in 2015 and then winning in 2017. He's also a four time Pan American Championships champion. He's won about everything there is to win except the Olympics, to which he's never even attended. But the thing is, this 67 kilo Olympic category has been on lock for years due to China's unbelievably muscular and dominant Chen Li Zheng, who actually has accomplished everything. Four time world champion, Olympic champion, world record holder in everything, he can't be beaten. Well, Maybe it would turn out he can, but he almost can't be beaten. Interestingly, it would turn out that four days later, during Chen Li Zheng's second training session here in Columbia, he would deservedly swagger in and also build up in the snatch to 140 kilos. In fact, he did it twice. And he made it look easier than Mosquera. Physically, he is a stronger man, but sometimes the well-fed aren't hungry enough. You see, Mosquera's been around for a long time. He knows the general cadence of weightlifting, the ebb and flow of performance, particularly around how it peaks towards an Olympic Games and then drops the following year while athletes recover and gear up for another round, particularly Olympic champions who quite rightly take some time off. And it had been just over a year since Chen Li Zhen had won, which meant that Mosquera probably knew that he'd be slightly less than 100%. And that was all he needed to know that he was in with a shot at becoming a two-time world champion and defeating the number one Chen Li Zhen. And in this session while filming, I felt that. I could feel that he was thinking about something more than simply earning his fifth world championships medal in the total. He was thinking about becoming the world champion again, in front of his home country, one of life's peak experiences, reclaiming the gold. Chen Li Zhen had taken it from him in 2018, held on to it in 2019, kept it to himself at Tokyo in 2021, but it was now finally looking ready for the taking again. Mosquera was dialed in, pumped up, hyped up with the ease with which he was hitting these pretty massive numbers. 140 kilos, 308 pounds in the snatch, and 180 kilos, 396 pounds in the clean and jerk. Particularly that 180 clean and jerk, I mean that is exactly 95% of the world record, held of course by Chen Li Zhen. And it didn't even look that hard. It looks to me like we might have just entered a new era of the 67s. And I like to call it the Francisco Mosque era. A big opener, I saw him making 140 kilos. Wow. Those watching at home, do not blink. No. Wow, that is so fast. Yeah. Beautiful save. There. Yeah. Oh, he's happy with that one. Yep. Okay, the opening attempt now of the Olympic champion, the four time world champion looking to earn his fifth world championships title. Wow. Just okay. incredible strength. Yeah, he's in good shape. This is the final attempt for Francisco Mosquera. Uh, yeah, it's too heavy. You know, there's a, there's a big mental component added to 
adding a new plate onto the barbell. He's never snatched in competition with a green on the bar. Wow, little twist, but he's yeah. got it. Yeah, that's his uh, patented twist there at 148 kilos. Okay, 150 kilos, final attempt. Oh, he... Wow, that looked like it was a make. Yeah. He there was a him. moment where he paused in the catch and he had it. Looking to join an elite group of weightlifters with five World Championships titles. Well, that didn't look too hard. Yeah. Nor did that. He's about to put everything out of reach. Although, I don't think he is. I just don't think there's any way Francisco Mascara isn't going to be able to move ahead of the 324 kilo total that this would put Chen Lijun on. Strong clean. Yeah, just as easy as the first. Oh, wow. okay. Unexpected there. If he makes it, Mosquera's going to have to go big into the uh, 80s to try and overtake him. Good clean, but it was... Oh. I think that's He's gonna fighting, be he's fighting. Yeah, I he's got one red. He's got a red. Lift. This will put him into the silver medal position. So he would only need 182. He did 180 in the training hall last week. Wow. Oh, he's on another level right now. He is on another level right now. That was such a comfortable opening attempt there. 177 kilos. The 2017 world champion. The multiple-time Pan American champion, the home crowd favorite. A lot of support here today for this man. This for the lead over Chen Lijun. And it put it forward. Put forward, but he's up with it. Oh, uh. you know, if he smooths out that clean, straightens things out, he can make that. Okay, this is the final attempt of the competition. This lift is do or die for Mosquera. If he doesn't make it, he ends up in fourth. If he makes it, he takes the gold medal. This session has been incredibly close. Such a tight battle. You know, only four kilos separating first through fourth right now. Francisco Mosquera will need a personal, to equal his personal best if he wants to win this World Championships, become a two-time World Champion. Been five years since he won. This is for everything. It's a better clean, Max. He's up. Can he hold it? Yes, he can. The crowd erupts. Francisco Mosquera becomes the world champion for the second time in his career. And Colombia earns their second gold medal of the world championships. A stunning performance to come back from a miss at 182 kilos and then make it on your third. For his absolute guts, passion, strength from the Colombian 67.